Good morning, children. This is the maths assessment two, day two, uh, solving. And uh, in this question, in this paper, we are having the uh, five questions, and each question carry means uh, three Romans are there. You have to write it, and the total marks are ten marks. The time is the twenty minutes. In this first question is you have to take in that <coughs> mark the smallest whole number. On number line. So we have to take in number line, and we are taking that the number line where we have to start in whole numbers from zero onwards. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on it will go on. Mark the number line means zero is the zero is the smallest whole number. We are marking on the number line. And the second question is who invented who invented Digit zero means they are asking. Means they are asking the who is the scientist invented the zero? Who is Aryabhat? The scientist name is Aryabhat. The Aryabhat scientist who invented the zero. And the third question, third question. This is the second one, which is the first one. And the third question: How many whole numbers are there between? How many whole numbers? Are there between between twenty seven and forty six? So except twenty seven and forty six, you have to write the numbers. So twenty seven after between they are asking. So we have to not include this. Two. So twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, so on up to forty five. So total how many numbers are there means in between eighteen numbers are there. So how many they are asking is eighteen. Those are the numbers here. Okay, and the next one is and the next one fourth question they are asking them how many six are how many six are needed to get thirty. So, how many six numbers? How many times we have to take the six to get the thirty? So, five, five, six are needed to get thirty. Why five six are needed to get thirty? Means the thirty table will come. Uh, sorry, the thirty number will come in the six table as five times. So, six five are thirty, or because thirty is because thirty is. Divided by five, five. How many times? Six times. And then fifth question is: fifth question is we have to mark the these numbers on the number line. What they are given the product? We have to draw on the number line. So the first question is three into four. Three into four. So first we have to draw the number line like this: zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so on. So three we have to take in the three number four times we have to take in the number three. So zero two three first we have to take in one time. So how many times four times we have to take in three number. This is the three. Another three second time. Another three. Another three. So totally what is the answer? Twelve. Three fours are twelve. Twelve we have to write down the number line like this. Okay. This is the first number line. And the second number line is three into three. Three into three, second number line. Again, we have to draw the number line like this. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on. So this is the number line. Three we have to take how many times? Three times. So zero to three one time. Where we have to start? Zero is the compulsory must and should in the whole numbers. Number line zero onwards we have to start. So where we start? There only again we have to start. Again another three. Another three. Why three times means three into three times we have to take it. So answer is nine. Three three is a nine. And next two more questions are there. Next third one is five into two. Five into two. We have to take a number line like this. 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you wanted to go extra, eleven, twelve, so on. So five into two. Five number we have to take in how many times two times? So zero onwards we have to take it up to five as five units. Again five units second time. This is the first time and second time we have to take it like this. So answer is the ten. So five times are ten. And the fourth one is fourth one is two into four. Two into four. Again number nine. Zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. 13 so on. So 2 into 4. So the two, number 2 we have to take it 4 times. So 0 to 2 here one time. 2 to again second time. 4 to again 2 units means third time and fourth time. So answer is 8. So 2 fours are 8. 4 times we are taken 2 2. So this is the difference between these two, 2 units, 2 units, 2 units like the remaining ones. So 2 fours are 8. Okay children. This is the explanation of maths assessment to day 2 explanation. Okay children. Thank you.